The Lord is, my, is the strength of his people, a saving refuge for the one he has anointed. Save your people, Lord, and bless your heritage, and govern them forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. On this glorious day, we gather around this altar as we move into the beginning days of summer, asking the Lord that we take root with him and just grow in our faith this summer with the Lord as our shield. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Fear not, Abram, I am your shield. I will make your reward very great. But Abram said, O Lord God, what good will your gifts be if I keep on being childless and have as my heir the steward of my house, Eliezer? Abram continued, See, you have given me no offspring, and so one of my servants will be my heir. Then the word of the Lord came to him. No, that one shall not be your heir. Your own issue shall be your heir. He took him outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars if you can. Just so, he added, shall your descendants be. Abram put his faith in the Lord, who credited it to him as an act of righteousness. He then said to him, I am the Lord who brought you from Ur of the Chaldeans to give you this land as a possession. O Lord God, he said, how am I to know that I shall possess it? He answered him, Bring me a three-year-old heifer, a three-year-old she-goat, a three-year-old ram, a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. Abram brought him all these, split them in two, and placed each half opposite the other. But the birds he did not cut up. Birds of prey swooped down on the carcasses. But Abram stayed with them. As the sun was about to set, a trance fell upon Abram, and a deep, terrifying darkness enveloped him. When the sun had set and it was dark, there appeared a smoking fire pot and a flaming torch, which passed between those pieces. It was on that occasion that the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, To your descendants I give this land, from the wadi of Egypt to the great river, the Euphrates. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord, the Lord remembers, remembers his covenant, covenant forever. forever. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Glory in his holy name. 
Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but underneath are ravenous wolves. By their fruits you will know them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Just so every good tree bears good fruit, and a rotten tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a rotten tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. So by their fruits you will know them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I think all of us know times in our life where we really feel alone. I think when we lose someone that we love, we we can really, really very much feel alone and feel like we're on our own. When we have a tragedy strike us when it comes to our jobs, we can feel like, you know, I got to figure this out. And usually we have to figure it out all on our own. So we can kind of imagine how Abram felt in our in our first reading where He had divided yesterday, if you remember, the land with Lot. Lot went to the area of Sodom and Gomorrah that looked in a mirage to be a very, very nice area. And Abraham went the other way. Abram went the other way. And when he went the other way, he ended up watching all this destruction take place on the side where Lot was. And I'm sure at that stage, he felt very, very much alone. The beauty of all the readings today is that we're called to bear fruit. And God's promise to us is that he won't leave us alone, that we are never, ever alone. So in the midst of Abram's grief, he's told to look up into the sky and to see the stars and his descendants will be that numerous and that God would provide and God would make sure, and our responsorial psalm will tell us that God's covenant will last forever. Our job to do this day and every day of our life is to bear good fruit, to remember the covenant that God will never leave us abandoned, even when we actually feel like we're all alone, we're not, and to know that we're not, but know that his covenant will last forever, that he will see that we will prosper. And if we remain true to him, our roots, which are those trees that are in good, good soil, will continue to grow stronger and deeper and forever get all the more stronger and it'll bear incredible fruit. I think we all know trees that we've met that all of a sudden they start to wither and die. It's the last thing that God wants for any of the creation that he forms. He forms us not only to be good, but to prosper and thrive and do good things in this world. So as we begin, really, just a couple of days into the new dawning of summer, where the sun is out today and we're actually going to move into some rainstorms as as the week ensues a little bit and next week, and Rain is really taking a good part of the Midwest right now, and hopefully it'll stay away from us the way the the, the patterns may be or not. But we know that storms will come in our life. And the one thing that these readings are telling us 
We are not alone. God will see the goodness out of it. If we plant our roots close to him and we come around this altar and we're fed with food for the journey and we know that we are not alone, we can survive anything. And even in the deserts of life, we will bear good fruit. I think all of us have met people in our lives and experienced in our lives that represent the rotten fruit. But that's not what God wishes for us. He will be by our side. May we stay rooted to him and take the higher road. Please rise now for the intercessions. Knowing that what God has promised us will be ours and that the Lord remembers his covenant forever, let us humbly offer our petitions to him. For the church and all the faithful, for you and I as we're called to bear fruit in this world and to remember that his covenant will never go away, may God's grace empower us as, as the servants of the church in bearing good fruit for, for Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For times in which we're leaders and we have authority in our own families and our neighborhoods and communities, and for elected officials the day after primary day, may the Good Shepherd lead all of us into protecting the flocks entrusted to every one of us. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For suffering and the despairing, for those on our parish sick list, those recovering from surgery, we pray in a special way for our members on our parish sick list. And we pray for uh, the people that have recently had surgery. Pray in a special way for Melissa Peace Corps that she may continue to get, to get stronger every day. May God bless and console all the sick and ways in which we are broken to offer us that healing nature. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may God increase our desire to generously share our gifts of time, talent, and treasure and bear fruit in the kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, we remember in a special way Carol Switzer, whose funeral will take place on, on Saturday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and also for um, Pauline Melshevitz, uh, whose funeral is at 11 o'clock on, on Saturday at Bushka Funeral Home. We pray for our Mass Intentions today, who is Bernice Rovnik. So for Bernice and all the faithful departed, May they come to enjoy the fullness of life and love in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those prayers that we voice now in the silence of our hearts. And we make these prayers through the intercession of St. Joseph. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers, and we ask you to answer them for our good through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. So much. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all, his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to give you thanks and raise to you a hymn of glory and praise, O Lord, Father of infinite goodness. For by the word of your Son's gospel, you have brought together one church, from every people, tongue, and nation, and having filled her with life by the power of your Spirit, you never cease to her to gather the whole human race into one. Manifesting the covenant of your love, she dispenses without ceasing the blessed hope of your kingdom and shines bright as a sign of your faithfulness, which in Christ Jesus our Lord you promised would last for eternity. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, while with all the church as one voice, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Fathers, we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In our own indirect way, let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
The eyes of all look to you, Lord, and you give them their food in due season. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. After Mass today is a Wednesday, we'll pray the glorious mysteries of the rosary. Uh, Joan, if you could be our, our presider over it, I'd be grateful for it. Please plan on joining us and, and praying that devotion with us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.